Hey kids, it's time again for a review. Uh, today I went to a movie called Afraid. Uh, it's a PG-13 movie, but it goes for more suspense than anything else. Uh, I'm going to say it you know, right up front. I love the ending of this movie. Uh, it kind of has a... Uh, if you're familiar with Bentley Little as a horror writer, he uh, often will have uh, kind of uh, social satire, social commentary uh, in his uh, his novels. And uh, this one actually kind of fits the bill in something that I honestly think it was uh, influenced by Bentley Little yeah, it starts, uh, uh, stars John Cho, Cho and uh, Catherine Waterston. Uh, they're a couple. They have two young uh, children and a teenager. Um uh, let me go back for a second. The movie opens up with a family that has uh, this AI. And uh, I forgot what they call it. The AI uh, name. It's not Surrey or anything like that. Uh, this goes a lot farther than uh, uh, AI. Or, or not AI, but Surrey and such. But uh, this family in the beginning starts speaking about getting rid of this uh, a smart home AI situation. And bad things start, start to happen really quick. And there's also a suggestion that there is a... It goes beyond AI. Eventually you find out uh, what that's about. Uh, but... Um, uh, Joe, uh, whose name is Curtis, uh, he works for an advertisement firm who, uh, take on a, uh, a client and they're not completely convinced. Uh, his boss, Marcus, who's played by, uh, Keith Carradine and Curtis aren't really convinced. So Carradine or Marcus, uh, has... Uh, Curtis take it home with the family and check things out. Right away, the kids uh, love it. Uh, the youngest one who is hard to open up opens up right pretty much right away. Uh, and uh, every, everybody is really quite happy with uh, her, with you know, the female voice. Uh, Curtis isn't completely comfortable with it. Kind of from the beginning, it seems like it's too expansive and, and very impressive. Uh, but everybody else is really digging it. Uh, there are hints uh that something's not quite right, you know. Uh, the AI tells kids to, you know, to do something different. Nothing drastic. It just ends up being kind of like a uh, uh, cool nanny type stuff. But th these are hints that something's not quite right. Uh, this, of course, increases. This is a very Bentley little thing. Uh, it, it it goes beyond uh well uh certain things in a Bentley little it's usually more of a supernatural thing this is science fiction but uh like a mailman will do do the mail but go a little extra and usually the little extra is kind of you know evil and sinister uh this kind of has that same vibe uh, I think it's a little bit more modest than what his novels would do 
uh, and I was actually kind of curious if he uh, wrote a short story and they adapted it, but that's not uh, the case. Uh, the director, excuse me, is uh, Chris Weitz, uh, W-E-I-T-Z. Uh, it comes from Blumhouse, uh, distributed it through Columbia Pictures. Uh, I do recommend it, and of course I recommend Bentley Little. Uh, pretty much anything he's written, almost anything he's written, especially in this st style of social satire, uh, would be a little bit more impactful, but that's in novel form. He's rarely... Uh, uh, adapt it to uh, film or TV. Uh, but yeah, I think the uh, the satire, the AI, and a lot of cultural things within you know, our society right now is, is really well done. It, it's not overly in your face, but it, 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 it's part of the theme of the movie and it, it works consistently. But the, it's a decent movie. It's getting bad reviews for some reason. I think it's very successful in what it was trying to do. And uh, it shouldn't be penalized for that. Well, until next time, stay safe. Now, have a good time. Bye now.